All right, guys, today I'm going to be reviewing real quick and I'll put a link in the description below. So make sure you check the description for the link on this, um, this FBI vault. So they've released a lot of um, documents over the years, newspaper articles and stuff and a lot of reports on ufos flying saucers or uaps so i wanted to share this with you guys for you to actually check some of this out and of course get some of your thoughts below in the comments so i'll be switching a little bit between um landscape and portrait here so I'll just let you guys know that because it depends if you're viewing it on your phone or your computer what's going to be best sometimes it's best just to view it in landscape um, if you're just scrolling through but also portrait gives you uh, better visibility, better visibility to um, to this as well. So, but long story short, um, here is some of the documents here, and of course they always have uh, the names and stuff kind of scratched out there. And there you guys see there, they have the zoom function where you can kind of zoom in and read some of this. But with the names being scratched, I guess they were trying to protect uh, John Doe or Sergeant John Doe and Mr. and Mrs. Uh, John and Jane Doe. But I found a couple of these to be interesting. Like for instance here, um, this is from uh, 1947. I was reported was, uh, yeah, September 9th, 1947. So in here is of course as a report. And it says I'm transmitting here within copies of restricted letter data, September 3rd, 1947. And then it kind of goes on, but you see there that the Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel's name has been blotted out. Um, and it's an Army Air Force base and it's in California. So some of this stuff kind of can be traced back even though the names are not visible or been blocked out or blocked out. But I think this is gonna be some interesting uh, documentation for us to keep going forward. Now, I'm gonna switch this to uh, portrait mode and I'm gonna show you the differences with this. So here it is in portrait mode and of course, on your cell phone, you can kind of um, view through it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna kind of try to zoom out on this again real quick, if I can get that to work, there we go. So with this, it does make it a little bit easier uh, to kind of view through some of these documents. And then of course, you can try to zoom in a little bit with it. But I did find it easier in um, portrait mode to kind of see some of this information here and kind of skipping through the pages of this. Um, this is pretty interesting. I don't even know what this is here. I don't know if that was a, a artist illustration or a drawing. I haven't had a chance to actually look through all this, but I did mention that I would try to find some of this information and give it over to you guys. And then you can also, at the very top up here, it says document, and then it has pages. So instead of trying to scroll through everyone, you can actually uh, see some of the pages on here too. And what I plan on doing is I actually plan on printing this stuff out so you can hit this ufo4.pdf and when you hit on that, it's actually gonna show you a PDF of it. And I'm gonna take this and actually print this out. I'll send it over to Staples or something and get this kind of printed out, which I thought was pretty cool. They give you that functionality for it. And I believe also, I saw some other documents on here. Um, we can go back to the Vault Home. Of course, you have your disclaimer right there uh viewing files of course they have information there i believe i saw somewhere some functionality where you could search because i did see uh some other information um as well i probably lost it where i put it but search vault um so let's say for instance we're trying to look up something on roswell and we go to search there so here you guys have all these documents here um, that relate to Roswell. Um, and then of course they say on July 8th, 1947, FBI Dallas Field offers a sense that they're just talking about a flying disc that resembles a high altitude weather balloon, which you and I both, everybody knows this probably wasn't weather balloon that actually was crashed. And I have a video coming up on that really soon about four or five theories about what actually happened at Roswell. But anyway, if we click on this particular document, then we can actually see and try to zoom out on this a little bit sometimes this functionality for this doesn't work the best um, and it's just this one particular document on there so let's go back and that says one of one all these are one of one and it actually that's pretty good let's click on this one it says a kidnapping that's interesting freedom of information and privacy act 
So that's pretty interesting that they have some of this in here. And I don't know if that associates too much with the Roswell that we're looking for, but it does give you um, exposure to it. Let's just do this real quick. Cause I think I saw some pretty good information on just UFO in general. Roswell UFO, we looked at that. Uh, Project Blue Book, um, UFO part seven of 16. So these would be interesting to look at. And I'm pretty sure if you guys know of certain things that happen in your area, you could possibly type that in. Um, let's see what this is. Let me go to pages. Because to me, it's a little bit easier to view with the pages here. But you could type that in. And basically, these seem to be photos of particular things. Page 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to document. And then I'm just going to go over to page 11 and scroll back over here. And I'm actually going to flip this. And we said go I'm trying to get rid of that. There we go. So I'm interested in some of this stuff is not really visible because it's either photos and it's been copied in and it may be kind of hard to read. But I know that some of you guys probably have some imaging software and um, that can, you could bring some of these images in and look at a little bit better with this. So uh, that's one. And I'm going to try to pull up another one. Let's see. Let's do a search on UAP and see what they have for UAPs. No results were found. Uh, pretty interesting, huh? Um, let's try something. I'm curious if they have anything on Evian. Because I believe that you guys were telling me that that's somewhat the name of what they're calling the gray aliens, which I don't see too much there. Jamestown, that sounds familiar. And that may be a, a little bit different, but I believe there was a crash at Jamestown not too long ago. Um, but anyway, I, I'm not going to go too in depth with a lot of this stuff, but I wanted to at least show this to you guys. Um, if I can spell alien, there we go. <laughs> We'll search on that. Storm Area 51 Part 01. That's interesting. So if you could get more distinguished or more narrow down your searches of what you want to do, you'll probably be able to find some information, like if we knew crash sites and stuff like that. But I don't want to take too much more of you guys' this time. I at least wanted to show this to you, and this actually has a lot into it. Let me go to page 45. Um, so this could be anything alien. It could be um, illegal aliens coming into the country. Um, let's do one other thing real quick. I'm going to do UFO and then we're going to do crash. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to do this on my phone and sometimes the keyboard is pretty small. So it goes back to this UFO part one of whatever, which we've kind of reviewed the earlier with this. So anyway, there's a lot more in here. I'm pretty sure you guys will search through this and find some documentation. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's uh, page 14. Let's go to that real quick. I'm just curious as to what that is. Like I said, when you do it in landscape, you actually have to scroll like this unless you're on a computer. But if I switch over to portrait, which I'll do in just a minute. And you can see there you can scroll a little bit better so here's 14 so these are so bad <laughs> and maybe they did this on purpose um u.s news and world report is what i can make out of this spacious monsters and martians so i don't know where this is actually from but interesting to see some of this and some of this documentation is actually out there and you can read it. It's like it just look like this may be a newspaper article or something from a magazine. Um, not 100% sure. Uh, that looks very familiar. Um, I can't think of the name of this craft right now that we've created, but that looks very familiar. But anyway, guys, I wanted to at least show this to you. I'm going to flip this again. Show this over to you guys so you all can kind of search through it and let me know in the comments what you find. I'll try to make sure I disable hyperlinks if you find something you want to share out there with this. But this is some pretty interesting information. And as I get more information on stuff like this, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. So 
As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you.